Hi guys. Welcome to the vlog, guys. Welcome to this. <laughs> oh. <movie. laughs> uh, it's going to be so it. bad. It's going to be such a good vlog because I've got some good ideas to be showing you what's going to go on, but it's not going to be a fun day for us because. We've got to show you the room. <laughs> Look at the state of this. Okay. Oh man, I oh, know, me too. I did tell you guys this in the end of the last vlog, didn't I? This is all stuff from Christmas and then just the state of the room. But we're going to try and tidy it. We're probably going to put the Christmas decorations away as well. But yeah, we're going to go on a tidying spree. And I'm also, so that's going to be satisfying to watch. That's going to be some good footage. Oh, are you taking the decorations off the off the window? No. You're just going to leave them on until yeah. next year? Until we move out, like? No. I'm, I'm also going to show nice. you. You can get naked. Go, no. And you can then get we'll what? see you. Oh, that's true. You can get changed. I wonder what it looks like from the outside. We should go out in the garden and have a look. Uh, also, guys, I'm going to show you some of the better presents. I mean, all my presents are amazing. Or just some of the, you know, bigger presents and stuff. And also, I'm going to show you some of this. This wasn't presents, but this is what I've gone out and bought myself today. But I'll show you all this later. Oh, my God. We're going to go through some good stuff. I don't even know where to begin on the room. We've, I've, oh, look at all the chocolate and stuff. Oh, so I think the thing is with me especially is like the room will start getting a mess and then I'll tell myself yeah we're tidying it tomorrow and so I won't change the bin for like another few days oh, no. we not <laughs> it's all just stuff and yeah it's down. yeah that's what it is really it's chocolate it's all chocolate boxes and stuff and so I just keep letting it get worse like the this I just keep chuck kept chucking every day I'd have a coffee and put the cup there like oh I'll tidy it like that and then not tidy in it again I sure. really don't recommend living in one room. No, when you've got enough stuff for a house anyway. And this 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 room just looks messy, doesn't it? And uh, this always looks horrible. This wall, I don't know if you can even see, but it's like this big dirt patch here because we painted the room and we didn't really think about it, but we painted this white. And to get out of this room, you've got to open the door and then that's, the, that's all filthy from grabbing it like that because we've got such stuff on. And then to get out, it makes more sense to do this and put your hand on as you go and do that. And then that has obviously just got filthy from having our hands on it. So that could do with a clean. Might get the sponge on it later or something. Oh God, it's horrible. We're such tramps, aren't we? Yeah, you can go and unsub unsubscribe now, you guys, so that you don't have to see this crap anymore. <laughs> Let's make a start. When we have a house, literally painting everything white, it's gonna be white. It'll be filthy. No, I'm having a white house. But it'll get filthy? A grey house. Okay, you can have it grey, you can have it grey. Where are we even going to start? With the house. No, yeah. with this. This. I'm going to start on this. I'm going to do this first. Do everything that doesn't belong in here. Okay. Glasses. Bins. I'm going to get a bin bag and stuff. My house. Yeah, most of it just needs moving, doesn't it? Now the bed just needs obviously cleaning off and putting in drawers and stuff. But now the Christmas tree's got to go next. And all these have got like loads of alcohol there, but neither of us drink really. So it's just pointless. It's most of it's going to get drunk at the wedding. So that's all going to get put away. And then my new Nintendo 64, which I will show you shortly, that's going to go there, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll mm -hmm. Should we put the tray away then? Yeah. Just wanted to share. I did, I did. Yeah. Eddie, I just wanted to show you the uh, decorations that Mum bought us this year. So last year she bought us these. They're always from Poundland. She just puts our names on them. And this was this year. This one's cute, isn't it? And then mine from last year and mine from Where this year. Where are these ones from this year? Uh, I'll pack them away. Oh, yeah. 
We yeah. had two Disney ones this year. Stacey's mum bought us an up one, which was amazing. It was the house with balloons. And Stacey bought me it's over Buzz, there, I the Buzz Toy Story one. Let's show them. Okay. They're too pretty not to. Oh, there's the house. Let's get some focus. Look how amazing that is. Look at the balloons and everything. On the bottom of the house. Yeah, I love the detail they go into. Amazing. And then this is the next one. This is this is amazing. Whoever came up with this concept is friggin' genius. Buzz in the little alien thing from Toy Story. That one's so cool. I've been to the gym, you guys. Just went and left Stacey here to just... She did a couple of little bits of tidying, but mainly just sat and watched telly. I tidied yeah, so. for about an hour after you went. And I've only been good. gone for about an hour, you liar. I think I bit my tongue. That went. Mm -hmm, there. That's where I used to have it pierced. I, I, I've always bought my tongue in my sleep. And I wake up just yeah. with it sore. It doesn't ever wake me up when I bite it. But I do quite often. I must be a bit of a troubler when I'm sleeping. It's weird that you said that you had tongue piercing because I found your old one. Yeah. Do that, yeah. <laughs> the song. Get it again. No way. Get it again. It always, they, but I've had it done twice in it. It always rubs off the gum. I think you can see. Uh huh. Gum rubs the gum time. off the back of one of my teeth and then it really hurts and yeah, it's not. It I'm not having it done again. No, gum never grows back, so it was good, good idea from me. This light in here, oh, working. And that's done. Okay guys, it's starting to get there. Ignore the dirty plates, we've just had a little bit of tea. But look, it, we, we've like condensed everything here into bags now and boxes and like neatened it all a bit. <laughs> it looks so messy. I've got rid of all the alcohol there and that's where I'm putting my little Nintendo 64. Clean this off, that's where I'm gonna put it when we play it because the cables aren't long enough. We just need to move out. That's the only thing I'm we can do. pack up these plant pots. Go on. Not uh, right now. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant literally right now. No. Such a... Oh, man. I, I, it's doing my head in living in this room with so much stuff. Because, like, you condense it and it just doesn't go anywhere. You tidy it and it just doesn't tidy because you've got so much stuff. Guys, you want to see some of the stuff I got for Christmas? Let's walk you through a bit. I'm going to show you pretty much everything that Stacey bought me and then just a few of the bigger bits that we got off, uh, off some people. So, let's go. Is this what I'm starting with? All this. This is soap. Stacey bought me soap. Lots of it. You know, I've just thought they've already seen everything you bought me because it's all in the vlog. In the Christmas Day vlog. Oh, the Christmas Eve vlog, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you up close some of the stuff because oh one that's not here. One that's not here is my headphones, they're over there. The wireless headphones you bought me, school candy. This, this is cool, this is good guys. We got oh where's the bag? I'll show you the bag in a sec. We got some stuff for camping because we went camping a few times last year. We've got a few bits that are like like adventuring and stuff, and Stacey got me this. It's Ted Baker, that's the little carry case. And it's a multi-tool, do you want to hold it? It's very cool, I've never had one of these before. It's sort of like a Swiss Army knife, but I don't think Swiss Army knives have this bit. It's got like pliers in the middle, so that's cool. And then we've got like, it's it's crazy, to be honest. We've got, got a knife, yeah? And then like, loads of little knives as well, in there, and bottle openers and stuff. And then this bit is mad. I'm not really sure what it's going to be used for, but it's basically a saw. Check that. It's a tiny little saw and it's really sharp. I reckon that you could cut your finger off with that if you wanted. Maybe that's what it's for. If we ever get, what was it, 127 oh, no. days? Hours. Then... Hours. Yeah, 127 hours. If that ever happens to us, like I'm stuck under a boulder, I could get through my arm with that. <laughs> that's better than a pen knife. Handy. Well, not so handy if you chopped your hand off. What? Oh. <laughs> that was one of my favourite summers. That was amazing. What a joke. <laughs> that little tool. Alright, hold on one second. I'm gonna... You're welcome. Thank you. You can put your soap away. Thank you so much. I don't know where I'm going to put, put this. So this is going to last me a year now. Put them with your clothes. Make this smell, Make... Lola. Oh, it's such an array of smells. Body shop had a, uh, the body shop had a little uh, sale. 40% off. That's why you got so many soaps. Have we shown them this? No. You sure? I remember showing somebody. Who did we show? Uh, your nan, Lissy. Well, your nan, we haven't shown you Lissy this and bag. your mum. Basically, Ben bought us this bag and it's freaking awesome, man. He bought us this and he bought us a little book that you fill in and it's with like your adventures of where you've been, what dates and what you did. But this bag. Where should we start? So this side, we've got the zipper. 
Then you can enter the bag. Where does it open? Oh, yes, it does. And it's got a nice little picnic blanket in it. And, yeah, well, not big that is, man. Unravel it. Wait, it's big. It's very big. It's a proper size picnic blanket and it's all like insulated inside. One moment. Um, you've got a little pocket at the front for like a thermos of drinks and stuff that's insulated. Clips there so when you're carrying it around, you can actually put the blanket in there so that you can wear it better and use that to put the food in. Because you and need now, food for a picnic. It helps. I have found that it does help to have food at a picnic. And then this is the, the bit. Oh, we've got a little, little, little pocket there for little bits. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Oh, oh. I didn't know it opened up that much. Oh, that's nice. So we've got cups, freaking chopping board, salt and pepper shakers, plates, washable napkins, and then all the cutlery you could ever need, including like a bottle opener, can opener thing. Nice. It's so cool. It's, it's basically a picnic hamper, but. That you can wear as a backpack, which is going to be so good for when we go camping and stuff, or even just on days out. Like you can ride a bike with this on and stuff, and it, you don't have to just lug around a picnic camp, you know. I mean, you can whack this on your back and just go on a little adventure. Like. So I was, I'm really happy with that. That's amazing. That's a really good present. Yeah, that was a joint present, wasn't it? Yeah, it's one of my fives. It's yeah, same. Okay, let's move on. That was off Ben. Uh, this is off Stacey's parents. A nice bottle of million aftershave, which I really like. You know what? I've got one that's say spoon as well. So that's that aftershave. Oh, paints. Oh, my naked. These are from my nan. <laughs> <laughs> so they spoon me a little tiny bottle of Ferrari aftershave. It's amber scented, and I absolutely love amber scented things. I've got a load of amber candles somewhere. Are we going to get any focus on this? I was just staring at it. I could have tapped it. Oh, Christ. Oh, this is a workout, man. This is killing my abs holding it like this. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you, Jim. It's not working. Get some dots. Try that now. Hold it steady, just hold it steady. <laughs> Still in Sweden, this is. Oh my god! Camera focus. Oh no, oh man. Why is it so hard to focus it? I think you're so close to it, maybe. Yeah, but, oh, here we go. That's it. That's got it. That wasn't worth it at all, was it? Little Ferrari aftershave. Uh, it smells amazing. <sighs> oh, Christ. That's an effort for me. I need to sit down. Okay, next up. Oh, stay spot this as well. Crystal growing kit. I remember showing you this on the day actually. Now we've been through. Two more Ted Baker things that um multi knife was Ted Baker and then this is the Ted Baker grooming set. So now clippers and stuff. And then Ted Baker cards, don't you know? Playing cards. We use these on boxing though. Very nice. We had a quick game of of uh gym rummy. This is really cool. This is off my mum and dad. They bought me a PlayStation One like designed book. Like a notebook, so it just looks like a PS1. It's even got like cable holes on the on the spine, <laughs> even the bottom and everything. It's really cool, isn't it? And then the inside looks like a PlayStation One, all the buttons and stuff. So that's nice. That's very cool. I got these off my lady. <laughs> she bought me some Pumas. I never showed you these as well. This was off my parents. Uh, an Echo Dot, Amazon Echo Dot. So it's sort of like it's one of those home system so you can have someone you know you can say alexa play blah 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 or ben's even bought the bulbs so now he can just say alexa turn the lights off or you can tell it to change color of his bulbs and just stuff doesn't say alexa jam oh no that one's a siri isn't it that's the apple one hey siri hey siri he spent like 100 quid on these bulbs which is yeah so yeah <laughs> we got this um i did say to my dad the other week after he'd already bought them i said because i knew he was buying them for other people for christmas he's bought like lissy had one i think jack's had one and that um, I said don't bother buying me one because I'm not ever going to use it seriously. If you've got me one you can send it back. But they'd already bought it so they gave it me. Um, and I wasn't being ungrateful. I was just, you know, saving them for buying it because I told them I'm, I'm probably never going to use it. But thinking about it, when we move out, I'll make use of this in the house. It'll be really good. I really, I'm very much grateful for it for that reason. But when we're here, when we're in the room, I've always got my phone in my hand and the PlayStation on. So like, if I want music, I've got my phone in the PlayStation. Just puts it straight on. And I've got my CD player. What else do you even use it for? I don't know. <laughs> I've oh, got consoles yeah. to do it. quizzes, I didn't know. Yeah, that was quite cool. Mum keeps playing games and quizzes on it. But then obviously when we got our own place and we were like in the living room or doing washing up or something, it, it would be really nice to have. I'm excited for like the, the kitchen use, like yeah. setting a timer. That, yeah, true, to be fair, yeah. And saying, oh, play this or get me a recipe for this. I don't yeah. know if it can do that. But I think it can do all those things. 
so it's very cool but it hasn't left the box yet and, and like that... you can call people on it yeah but i can call people on my phone no but like i'm washing up and i'm like oh mm. jammy we yeah. need some bread yeah you link it to your phone and then you actually just use it as a phone yeah yep, so yep. that's quite cool it is it is it's really cool and i feel like i'd use it in my studio yeah I have a studio. Do you? <laughs> this one, you guys, this one. If you're a 90s kid, you guys might remember this. Even if you're Stop an 80s kid, to be Stop fair, it. you might remember this. But basically, there's a bit of backstory to this present. Oh, this was the first one I opened on Christmas morning, which I thought was cool. From my parents, anyway. There's a video of me on Christmas of about 1996, 97, maybe. Something like that. I wasn't very... I was like four, three, four, five, something like that. And I opened this present. And it's... It's a pack of Toy Story soap, and the video is of me going, as a kid, just going, ah, oh, doi doi dope. Like, I can't say it properly. I was like, ah, oh, doi doi dope. And then, it's an in-joke that we all say that now. Whenever we see something Toy Story, we say, doi doi dope. <laughs> and they found the actual, I think Dad found it, found the actual soaps, man. Look at this box. Look, it's buzz and it's woody. And look at the back. It's so cool. And it just smells like, like being a kid. I remember using it in the bath, and I keep saying this to everyone, but I remember how much it burns your eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I can't believe it. I can't believe that someone's had this and just kept it for, like, 20 years. Well, probably more. More than 20 years. Oh, my gosh. So, there you go. That one is so cool. I'm just, just got to keep it somewhere safe, man. I don't want to ruin it. I love the colour of it and everything, man. The colour of the package, it's just so... 90s. We've started collecting stuff, Yeah, we have. Because you know that Stacey's started collecting her Barbies, yeah? She's got a little Barbie collection going. Only three. <laughs> and a board yeah. game. Well, now mine is, apparently, Nintendo 64 stuff. I've got, oh, well, 90s stuff, maybe. We just collected 90s stuff. Stacey's got loads of 90s Barbies. I've got my 90s Toy Story thing. I'm I feel sure like we're having a, like, a child life crisis. <laughs> We don't want it to get away. Well, for me, yeah, I was. I keep thinking at some point I want to get a Nintendo 64 again and then games because they're really what I used to play loads as a kid. All of us, me, Ben, and Jack, and even sometimes with some of my mates. One of my best mates now. We I used to know him when I was a kid, and we used to play Nintendo 64 together. I'd go up his house and play it. So I thought I gotta get it because they're only getting more expensive now. They've got to the point where they're just getting more expensive. So today I decided I was going to go out and buy myself a Nintendo 64 for Christmas as a little treat. Oh my arm is hot too. And so I went out you guys and I bought a Nintendo 64. This is uh, an old game console. It's from the 90s. Old. It's not really old is it? It's from the 90s. I don't know. And um, So yeah. I bought one. Fully boxed with the controller that comes with it. All the wires. Things like that. Um, this cost 60 quid. From a little uh, vintage game shop near us. And the guy in there was like, he, he was the kind of guy that knows everything about vintage games. He said he bought a whole collection. He's telling us all these things, all these stories about these collection he buys. He bought the collection of everything Nintendo 64. So every single game that they ever made and everything to do with it. All the like accessories and stuff. He said it was the biggest Nintendo 64 collection in the world, I think he said. And it cost him 23 grand. He bought it off someone. There's another controller in there for it, which he gave us... This box for free, he didn't charge us anymore to have it boxed because the box is a bit, it's got like a scribble on it and stuff. And then I bought three games. So I bought Pokemon Stadium, which is a really cool old Pokemon game. Uh, which this one I did actually used to play with my mate. The one I was just talking about, we used to go up his house and this was what we used to play a lot. I remember playing that loads. We used to play that and Mario, but I, I didn't buy Mario yet. I'm going to get that online, I think. I bought... This was the one I mainly wanted, to be fair. Diddy Kong Racing, and it came in like a little protective sleeve as well. Uh, these were like 20 quid each or something like that. Because I used to play so much as a kid. And it's it's got two player capabilities as well, this and the Pokemon one. So this will be fun. I'm probably going to set this up tonight to play. So good little racing game, Diddy Kong. Oh my gosh, that one I've had so many hours playing. And then, Banjo-Kazooie, guys. If you've been watching us for... No, did we ever... We didn't, we didn't ever vlog that. A few years ago, I got this on the Xbox um, because you could get it, like, download it. It's not focusing on Banjo. And, um, yeah, I mean, so I played it all the way through. So I just got that again because it was only, like, 20 quid or something. And I thought, this is the guy, this is, like, my favourite game ever. This is my childhood, this. But there's a second one called Banjo 2 -E, and I haven't bought that yet. I'm going to get it online, but that one's worth quite a bit of money now. No, not that much. It's only, like, 30, 35 quid. But I'm just going to, yeah, probably order that. So shall I set it up? Should we play? You ready for this? 
how excited are you right now? I'm playing this game for 15 years. Show me the face of excitement. <laughs> Last time I played this, they remade it for the um, Nintendo DS. 10 years ago again, and I, that was the last one I played, so I haven't actually played it on the Nintendo 64 in 15 years or something. It seems so good. It seems so freaking good. No. There it is. We've got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. 1997. Wow, really so big. Oh my god. It's so blurry, Jam. It's because it's on such a big day. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh my god. Don't know if you can tell like, how blurry that is. It's so blurry. It's hard, uh, press a button on your controller and it'll make it two up here. Guys. We need to talk while Jem plays his new game. <laughs> um, guys, I'm on a bit. I was just trying to say, so I remember doing this a million times as a kid. And it's not really being hard. And it's doing my head you in at the minute. Do it, can you? I can't. I've, it's a boss race and I've been on it for like... I've done it about 30 times now. Really <laughs> I just wanted to talk about my calf kids and Bambi socks. Because these socks were £10. Normally I wouldn't buy them for £10, but Joan bought them as a Christmas present and they were in the free for two offer, which is fine. Like, you know, so uh, you got like my bottles with it, didn't you? And they were like eight quid, so, so it was 18 quid for three things. So I just want to show you them. Like, what is this doing? Like, it's, it's like, look at it. It's so floppy. This is not good. Look, look, look the heel's not open on. They're the worst socks I think I've ever owned because they're ten pounds. It's just so it's not great. Ah. It's not great. Ah. <laughs> ah. I've tried to see like if there's any. Did you do it? Yay! Jemmy obviously does not care about my sock situation. My socks, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Ten pound socks, jam. Ten pound. I thought ten pound socks. They must be worth it. I thought they were going to be thick, luxurious, lovely. They're called bed socks. These ain't bed socks. I mean, look at them. Look at my talking socks. <laughs> look how bad they are. So I don't know whether to return them or not. I mean, do I wash them? I think yeah, I mean, should return them. Like, how embarrassing to return used socks. Used floppy socks. I've got my massive <laughs> boat feet in these socks and now they don't fit. I tried to see if they're on like sometimes places do like reviews to say whether it's any good or not. They're not selling them anymore. Do you buy them? Why well, aren't they selling them anymore, Jamie? Probably because they're rubbish. Yep, they're apart, I guess. I had high hopes for you, calf kids, and high hopes. Love your bottles and everything else. The socks. I don't recommend the socks. Mm. Good morning, you guys. It's day two of this vlog. So, welcome to it. I am just having a little afternoon in uh, in bed, having a nice, enjoying my time off work. So, I'm still off until it's Saturday at the minute. I'm off until Thursday. And, well, you know, so I set up a Nintendo 64 last night. I stayed up till three in the morning playing it. <laughs> <laughs> and that for me is like amazing because usually I'm in bed by 12 at the latest <laughs> so I stayed up playing it because I'm playing this game Diddy Kong Racing yeah and there's this secret character you can unlock and when I had this as a kid I could never get him because it was too hard and I'm killing it now as an adult I'm smashing the game and I'm gonna get this secret character TT's name is a little time trial clock and he's the fastest in the game I'm gonna get him so anyway I'm gonna have an afternoon and play this uh, I've got some edits to do as well because I still haven't uploaded the Christmas Day and Boxing Day videos, man. So I'm going to upload them today. Um, and then Stacey's out at the minute with her mum. And then we're going to go to the gym later as well. Smashing it. We've decided. Or I've decided. I don't know if Stacey's joining me on this. But I'm going to... Like, I count calories anyway. And always count the calories of everything we eat. But I always kind of round it a bit. And sort of just guess something. So I'm really starting to count exactly how many we're having now. So I can just be very exact on my uh, diet. And Stacey needs to be doing the same, I think. But she's not started hers yet, so... <laughs> Counting's not going to help if she's not even started. But here's what I've had today. Because I just had beans on toast with a little ice cream after. 538 calories, to be very exact. 
yeah, I'll see how long that lasts. I'll probably end up just averaging again after a couple of weeks, so we'll see how far it gets. Look who it is, it is Mrs. Banawana. Yes, said look who it is, it is Mrs. Banawana. Hello, guys, again, how you doing? How you doing? This isn't even the start of the vlog, I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> it's a few hours later, I've been to the gym, spent hours on Diddy Congregation again. <laughs> Same as last night, you know, something, something, something come across. Something that I remembered as a kid getting stuck on as well. And uh, what I vividly remember is getting Ben to do it because I couldn't do it as a kid. Oh. And then I, I spent like an hour on it just, just trying to do this one little bit, man. This one race in it against this one boss. I was up till three in the morning last night doing it because there was one race that I couldn't do. That took me like 45 minutes or an hour or something. I don't know why we blurry. Right? Yeah, I was like, okay, I'll just do this one last race. And then I, I was on that one till, till three. So I was like, okay, boys, this not... There we go, we're back, we've got focus. I'm just, I don't know, yeah, we just a very, very strange, uh, I don't know, yeah, we're driving up one my street and then there was a lady uh, in a mobility scooter thing and she just missed the drop curb and just like totally came off it, totally hit the deck. So we jumped out and picked her up and helped her out and some other guys walking the dog helped her out. And she was all right, luckily. It looked like she bumped a leg, but she said she was totally fine. I offered to call an ambulance or something for her, but didn't want to seem rude, like saying, do you want an ambulance? Because obviously she only fell over, like, but, yeah, you could always really hurt yourself, and she was rubbing a knee, and the knee's a pretty sensitive bit, especially if you've potentially got bad legs because you're in a wheelchair or a mobility scooter. But yeah, she was alright. That was weird. I'm sure she'll call someone. Yeah, she was literally she was right outside a house, man. She just got to the, she just caught the drop curb wrong. But yeah, well, okay, yes, we're on the way, Mariel. We're doing some, what? What are we doing? You, you get, you, you've ordered some stuff. We've got to get your stuff. Yeah, I've ordered some stuff. Returned some stuff for my dad, typically. Always getting us to do stuff when we go to Murray Hill. And then getting some food to tea and having a look around and having a nice evening. And we're gonna go home and we're gonna play more Diddy Kong Racing. And maybe get some wedding shoes. Never know. Maybe. We need to start looking for my suit, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to go. If you know of anywhere where they're gonna do a yellow suit, like a nice, not quite mustard yellow, not quite bright yellow, maybe like, I don't, I don't know how to describe the colour. But yeah, let me know anywhere where they do that. I can't think of anywhere. That is somewhere also that isn't going to be like a million pound. Yeah, TK Maxx is probably going to be up there with the best place in it. But do they? Do you do suits? Yeah, there's a suit. There's not necessarily yellow suits. We did a sun. Well, we still got it a sunflower uh, suit, but it's, it's, it's got oil. It's not nice. Yeah. But yeah, we do do weird ones. So. Let's go in and have a look today. I'll get, I'll, I'll just have a feeling we're just going to get lucky one day. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just find it somewhere totally randomly. Mm, me too. Sure, with this camera's focus today. Hello. She's wedding shoe shopping. So these are the ones she was actually looking for, the ones she actively came in to find, but they are not. Are they are they gonna fit? Are they alright? This one's fine. I'm worried about They're two different sizes, one. by the way, guys, she hasn't got two different so size these, feet. These are the same size now. Oh okay. Maybe so you have got two different size feet. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm a five and a half, these are a five. Oh. Um, so what's the so what, the fours are the fives are too small, the sixes are too big? Yeah, way too big and yeah, yeah, they do look floppy when you're wearing them, the sixes. Oh, they're so nice. What, just they look so nice or they feel so nice or what? I mean, they don't feel nice, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. one day. Yeah, you might, you got to get the ones, you got to get what you what you want to be seen in photos in, don't you, really? Because yeah. they're going to be the photos that everybody looks at for years. I love them, I think they're tiny enough. Yeah. They're not, not comfy, so. So guys, if you see me in the camera, We've just, I've just tried on these in a size 6, in these ones, and I've said to Jamie, I said, let's get another pair just in case it's those, and I think these fit a lot better, and they're the same size. Crazy? Crazy. Guys, I just don't know what to do. What do you think I should do? So what's the crack at the minute, what you're wearing? Is one size a big and one size a small? No, these are both a size 6 now. One of them seems to fit. But they seem to fit better than that other size 6. They're still a bit big, but like they're not... They're not as loose, but they feel really comfy now. Like, I could wear these all day. We've just got back from shopping. Gemma's eating his... Uh, local ice cream. Local ice cream. I just want to show you what I bought off uh, the internet. I went to Foot Asylum today to pick up my order. And this is what we ordered. These are my little... Little Nike. Or Nike. Little, what are they? Shorts? They're not shorts. Joggers. Joggers. They're like wide leg. <laughs> They're cute. These with a nice pair of trainers. 
Nice little jumper, nice little white t-shirt. Really comfy little outfit. Nice, that's the first thing I bought. This is the second one. You can't really see because the light on the mirror needs a very good clean. Uh, there's a little Tommy Hilfiger little crop top. Little crop top. I didn't have a small in this, so I had to have a medium, but actually if I'd have had a small it wouldn't have fit me. So, that's good. I think this would be cute with like dressy trousers rather than like these. What do you think? <laughs> Jeremy's got his new little cap on. No, no, no. Let's have a close up. There's only a fiver, and this one, you guys, is men's. I nearly got you this because it was eight quid, and I was like, yeah. mm, bargain. Might as well get got, I've got it for a fiver, and I really don't really. Yeah. This I've also got the thing on. <laughs> and it does fit different to the like this one that says you want me for Christmas, which is the women's one. Well, I can wear that, can't I? Yeah. Um, I still, I still like it, but it, it fits different. It does. As soon as I put this on, it fits my head properly. That one's just a bit. I don't know, like, what's the difference? I can't figure it out, do you know what I mean? Bigger? It's like longer or something. Or... It looks the same, Jam. It definitely feels different. Oh, I don't know what it is. There we go, Jam's good. Eh? <laughs>